Hi guys and welcome back to Destination with me, Shanice. So thank you very much for the overwhelming response that I got on my first video. I just want to say thank you for watching the video and for subscribing on my channel. So on today's episode, I'm going to be going to an art gallery and studio that is uh, located right here in Livingston. So the art gallery is centered on the Mbusa on the Mbusa teaching of the Bemba people. So for those of you who are not familiar with what uh, Mbusa teaching is, is um these are teachings that are given or passed on to couples before they get married. Right at the entrance of the YY Arts, you can feel the homely atmosphere. Walking right into it is just so peaceful. Just looking at the driveway, you can tell that there are a lot of activities that take place here. So let's go right inside and find out what they are about. My name is um, Lawrence Yongwe. Uh, I'm an artist, and mostly I'm a painter, but um, I, do, um, I do a bit of sculpture, like clay work or ceramics or pottery. When I, underwent, when I got married, because you, you, want, you, you pass through Mbusa a, a night before your pronounced wife and husband, you, they cancel you, they initiate you and whatever. So, when I went through that uh, process, that in, in, in initiation, I found it to be very, very rich. I learned quite a lot. So, my art changed, and I, I started borrowing the symbolism, just like with my, my wife also. We started using, the, using the, some of the symbols that I used in the Bosa. So, you see some of these symbols in my work, which uh, done, I, I have... have done them creatively on my work such that they look like they are human beings. Actually they are just symbols but talking about life, you know, showing life. So it was after undergoing the Mbosa teachings that uh, my art changed and the symbolism came into my technique or my, my work. My name is Kangwa, Kangwa Yongwe. I'm a mixed media artist. So. I've been here at YY for some time, so I work with my family. Welcome. This is uh, our traditional library. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, the Mbusa room. So the, the Mbusa is a... Uh, this place is inspired from the Pemba tradition. Um, Pemba, of course, the northern part of the country. This is where they they do such ceremonies. The seas, they talk about unity, and this is the net which talks about deceiving and of course even to this whole thing there's a deeper meaning you know sieving can also you know talk about um you know decision making this is called the mundu mundu uh, so with with the mundu mostly it's used to talk about communication to teach on communication so what normally happens as they are teaching on communication is they get the couple and they ask them to you know like blow so maybe one person blows and then when they they blow maybe let's say the man because you know if i blow from this side it makes a sound like that of a rolling line <laughs> do you do you get that yeah so this is what happens and then the woman also will do the same then later on at some point they'll ask both of them to blow at the same time but you know what happens when they blow at the same time because there's no escape for air, there's no sound that really comes out. So they teach to say when one is talking, the other one should be quiet listening. When you try to both talk at the same time, nothing is going to come out of it. You're not going to hear each other. So it's basically, I think this is one of my favorite uh, artifacts and the teaching that accompanies it. So my name is Sunga Mira. I'm a mixed media artist and 
I make pottery out of clay, which is inspired by Mbosa ceremony, a tradition of Bemba ceremony practiced by people from Northern Province. I also do crafts from plastics in that I crochet and I make different crafts and also collaborations of wall hangers out of the plastics. And sometimes I also do print works. It can be seen up the wall there and yeah. So I'm actually working as a coordinator for YY Gallery and I'm also an apprentice here learning from the senior artists. My name is Exina Kamban. I work here at YY Art Studio and Gallery. I make jewelry, mostly I make earrings and bracelets and the necklaces. So like now I'm making the earrings inspired by Mbusa. So these earrings mostly I use the Mbusa colors which is red, black and white. So these earrings I use the Chitenge materials and the wires inside. After that, I paint them with the PVA paint. Look at this type of the earrings. These are the earrings I make using the water bottles, the butter bottles and the yogurt bottles. Even this, you all these we use the changes and the bottles. These are just natural pots. Um, we have the trees locally here. So this is a piece that was made from the same boards, so they just joined together with just tiny wires. So the interesting thing about this is it changes shape depending on how the weather is. So sometimes it's just freely spreading, freely falling. Then sometimes when it's either cold or uh, too hot, it's like someone was just twisting it together. It just comes together and folds, folds. Sometimes it's almost going upwards. Sometimes you find it almost, you know, twisted like that until it joins. So I don't know how that is, but it's interesting to look at as the weather changes. I've had an amazing time today at the YY Arts and Gallery. I didn't know we had such a place in Livingston until recently. And I am glad that I actually came here and saw it for myself. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know uh, what you learned today about this gallery that this particular gallery that we went to visit and follow me on social media or on destination with Shanice and see you next week.